Hey guys, behind me is our brand new short bus. So, as you might know by now, we had to buy a new bus. Our old bus crapped out on us. So, wanted to kind of run through some of the upgrades, the new things we've done to the bus. We've got a lot of new fun things in here. Took a lot of time out of our days to get this stuff figured out, but we've also got plenty of room for improvements. But first trip, we wanted to make it where all four of us could live in the bus, fish out of the bus, do some filming. We've got a new, we've got a couple of awesome new upgrades we want to show you guys. Really make the bus livable. That was the initial plan for the short bus diaries, was for all four of us to be able to live in take the bus anywhere we wanted to, fish out of it, not have to worry about mechanical issues and problems, and that's what we've got with this guy. So come on, let me show you a couple things. All right, so first thing you're gonna notice is from the old bus, we retained the color scheme. Had to have the same color scheme as the old bus. So we still got the lines, we've got the whatever color scheme that old bus had, we had to retain it. I just feel like it's classic short bus at this point. Upgraded doors that works off a pneumatic air system is really fun. So this is the foyer. Here at the foyer, we've got kind of so, some of our wall, we've got some of our gear, a couple baskets for some little odds and ends, some extra koozies in case we wanna toss someone at, some out to any fans that we meet, some of our gear, rigging wall, uh, some stuff you can grab on your way out if you need to. Here we've got the captain's chair, some new uh, buttons and a lot new features over here that we did not have on the old bus. This bus actually has an air conditioner and a heater, which is awesome. So that's right down here. We got a couple of uh, suction cup mounts for the driver to have his phone up and running with uh, while charging so we can run Google Maps, things like that. We got a little piece of AstroTurf, you know, keep it classy up here. We wanna make sure that we class the establishment up. You just take your shoes off, rub your feet around on that grass mint here we've got our yeti for <laughs> here we've got our yeti for our extra cool for our drinks up here for the driver you know you always got to be stocked up with those red bulls mountain dews and some coffees let's come on back this way one of the biggest upgrades that we did to the bus is we added a spare battery. So we have a crank, our cranking batteries, and then we have a separate battery that just runs power for accessories in the bus. So we upgraded all the bus lights to big LEDs so that we can actually see in here at night. That was a huge problem in the last one. We also have an inverter mounted down below. That guy runs off that battery as well. So we can charge our phones, our and most more importantly, our camera gear, cameras, GoPros, drones, all the stuff that we use for making these productions. We can charge all of that stuff in the bus while the bus is off without worrying about killing the cranking battery, which has been massive for this trip. Now, uh, back here we've got our beds. We've got a triple decker bunk bed system on this side. So we've got Steven, Bryant, and Scotty list over here. And that's where the magic happens. This is the one you let the kids on and off right here. Here, we've got my bed plus a lot of storage. So that was one of the things that we were the biggest, was the biggest gripe about the old bus was the lack of storage. This one's got so much more storage. We've got spots for dry food. We've got spots just for fishing gear. We've got a spot just for camera gear. And then we've got a spot for all of the bus needs that we have while we're out. Come on that back this way, we see our chief master editor. Yeah, this is the editing suite right here, multi-use table, podcast, editing, kind of whatever, whatever you want. Sandwiches, we've made sandwiches here. Um, this is just kind of a Swiss army knife of tables. I like it. Right we got our game plans over here. Yes, as you can see, um, yeah, <laughs> I, can't, I can't figure that one out. 
Uh, and then Steve's Miss Fish. How many Steve? And that's, how a, many? that's a true number. We didn't make that one up. That's yeah, a that's, true We counted number. every fish that Steve missed, and it was that number. Yeah, this is where the magic happens right here. This is where the magic happens. Yeah. Here we've got our storage for all of our personal stuff. Each one of us has a shelf on this four, uh, four shelf little system. We've got NRS straps to be able to hold all of our gear in. We've got our Sims bags, be able to hold all of our camera gear, boots, jackets, all that fun stuff right here in this guy and have it bolted down on the sides, which is great. We've got our rod holders. We've taken a few of these rods out for the video because there was a lot of rods back here. We've got our rod holder set up pretty easy. We've got a lot of, we've got a big plan to upgrade this. This kind of worked in a pinch. Coming on back, we've still got the AstroTurf from the old bus. We had to cut it a little bit more to make it fit the desk, the editing table, but we still got our uh, AstroTurf. Really is great for being able to kick your shoes off, sit back here. We've got some folding chairs that we can also put up back here, make it really nice and comfortable. Over here, we've got our handicap lift from the original bus. So this guy does is operable. We are still working on figuring out exactly what we're gonna do with it, but we've got some awesome plans. We've got some little storage organizers here that we've uh, just hooked on it. Uh, this is gonna be coming up and the, really is gonna play a big part in the next series that we film. Really excited about that. Here we've got Steve just freaking spinning up some product. You know, we got the blue line, we got the blue line tying desk back here. One of the biggest features for us for the whole video, be able to have a spot that we can sit down, tie some flies at night. Hey, uh, what are you guys up to? Oh, we're filming a thing. Yeah, let's just, uh, let's just blur this one out here. Uh, <laughs> this new R&D product, can't see, can't see this yet. Do you remember from the last bus, we started out tying as the table was a Yeti cooler. Well, we've upgraded a little bit. Now we've got a Yeti that we sit on. Hey, grab us, grab us something out of there. Here, oh, awesome. look at that. Sheesh. Sheesh. Also, doubles is our fridge. We keep some, uh, some beverages in the back of the bus. For my boy, Scotty. There you go. Um, let's, let's just pause right here. Huge shout out to Loon. They helped us out with all outfitting all of the tying materials that we would need for our trip. That's a quick look at the inside. Let's give you guys a look at the outside real quick before you go. Bye. Bye. So guys, we had a couple of really big upgrades that we had done. First off, these headlights were terrible. We got some new headlights put in uh, before we left. So one of the biggest features from this new bus that we did, we knew that we would have to have some more storage. With four guys, fishing, and f all the film gear that we bring, we had to have some extra storage. So we got these made. Some extra lockers. We've got one on each side, and they are so essential for what we've been doing. Being able to put our, our extra camp stuff in here, stuff that we don't need except for when we're out, once we the bus gets to where it's going, you know, fishing packs, waders, boots, things like that, stuff that doesn't make the bus super muddy, they've been incredibly good. And we can lock them when we're not around. So awesome to be able to have that locking storage, uh, to be able to lock some, lock some extra gear in there and just keep it out of the bus. Back this way, just like the old bus, we got a, a trailer hitch added for the trailer so that we can tow our rafts and our motorcycle, all wired up with our trailer electrics, great. We added a fly library to the back, just in case anyone is ever around, happens to see the bus, make sure you either grab a fly, uh, we already got add some blue line flies on there, or if you wanna leave one for us, leave us a fly next time you see the bus out. Well guys, that's about it for the new bus. Thanks so much for joining us on this tour. Hope you enjoyed it. We are really excited about the upgrades that we've done, but trust me, we've got a lot more fun stuff planned for the future. Some stuff that makes it even more usable. Little, We've got some things that are maybe a little bonkers, but we're really excited to show you guys in the future what we've got coming up. But if you've got some ideas of what you'd like to see done to the bus, leave them in the comments below. We'd love to see what you think. Thanks so much for joining us on this tour. We're gonna see you guys out on the water. Thank you.